Hello, this is Carolyn Service with O2BStampin.com and today I'm coming to you with this cute card box and five greeting cards with a tea time theme. So to get started, we're going to start with the box first and then I'll show you how to make the card. So for right now, I'm just going to set them aside and I am going to bring in my Simply Scored tool. Now if you don't have a Simply Scored tool, highly recommend that you get one, but you can also use your scorer on your paper cutter. So we're going to start by putting the long edge to the top of the scorer. So this is the 11 inch edge. And we're going to score at 4 and 3 quarters. So line it up with your tab right here. 4 and 3 quarters. And as also at six and a quarter. And you're going to turn it so that the small edge, the eight and a half inch edge, is at the top, and you're going to score it at six and seven and a half. Okay, then I'm going to show you what this looks like actually on a white piece of paper so that in case you couldn't see that well, uh, hopefully you will be able to see it on here. So again, the scoring is four and three quarter and six and one quarter across the 11 inch side and then Six inches and seven and a half inches across the shorter side of the cardstock, which is your eight and a half side, eight and a half inch side. Okay, so everybody can see that. All right. Okay, then we're actually going to cut this bottom section out. When you get your kit, this will be marked very clearly for you. Okay, um, but for right now, I'm just going to do it here. So you're going to just cut along the score lines. and you're just going to discard that piece. Okay, then you're going to actually set this aside. You're done with the simple score tool. You're going to use your bone folder and you're just going to reinforce those score lines. Then you're going to need your sticky strip. Actually, first, we will decorate the front. It will be a little easier to decorate it while it's flat. So you're going to take your white background piece, and I'll put the measurements for all of these at the end as well, um, but that actually is um, three and a half by five inches. And you're just going to use your adhesive. Center that. Then you're going to take 
your piece of Lucky Limeade. Now what I did with mine is I actually put it through the Big Shot um, with this folder, the Houndstooth folder, and slide it in there, run it through your Big Shot, and It'll add a lot of little nice design and texture. To that piece of cardstock. Trying to center it. Okay, then in your kit, you're also going to have uh, six pre-printed my did by using my digital studio which at the end of this video I'll tell you how you can get a 30-day trial for free and also um, they've just reduced the price of my digital studio from eighty dollars to twenty dollars so this is a great time to add this to your stamping supplies um, so you're just going to cut out one of these designs whichever one you think that you would like on the front of your box. And when you cut it, use this one, when you cut it you're going to want to leave that blue trim around the edge. You can just use your paper snips or you can actually cut it on a with a paper trimmer, whichever one uh, you choose. Would either one will be fine. white left on here. I'm just going to try to trim that off real. It's the nice thing I love about our paper snips is it can cut off just the tiniest little strip. Very sharp and precise and I love them for that. Okay. Now when you mount this piece you're going to want to mount it towards the top. here because you're going to also add a piece of designer paper here to the bottom. You can use uh, the side that you want showing is the darker side. And because this is textured I did add a little bit of extra adhesive on my designer paper. I'm just going to put that across the bottom. Okay. Now next, you're going to want to add your sticky strip. And again, I have um, used a white piece of paper to show you where you're going to be adding that sticky strip. On this side, you're just going to add it right along this edge. Turn that off. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming up here like this. Now, in your kit, there is also another piece of cardstock. So, this second piece of cardstock measures eight and a half by three inches and I have gone ahead and pre-scored that um, so you're going to score the each end here and here at three eighths inch and then again at one and seven eighths inch on both edges so three eighths one and seven eighths three eighths one and seven eighths then you're going to turn it so that your short piece is at the top of your score. 
and you're going to score a half an inch down the one side. Actually, on your score, it would look like this on your Simply Score tool, a half an inch down this one side. Okay, then you're actually going to cut a few pieces away. Again, I'm going to show you what that looks like by using the white paper because you'll be able to see it better. Zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, so um, again, the measurements here are eight and a half by three. And you're going to cut out these little corners here, and you're also going to cut out this center piece in here. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so this little piece in the corners. And this piece in this corner. And then this center piece. Again, you can use your paper cutter to do this if you're more comfortable with that. Okay, so then it will look like so. You're going to take your sticky strip and you're going to add sticky strip to your Island Indigo piece that measures eight and a half by three. You're going to add it there. On each end. And snip that off. Sometimes too if you have some difficulties getting the sticky strip to release, you can take your bone folder and just rub over the edge. I mean, rub over the surface, I should have said. Sometimes that will help it to release. And then if you still need some help, you can take your paper snips and slide it just under the red part. Right, I find that it's easiest for me to do it in the center. And then just peel. That will loosen it up. Whoops. That will loosen that up. And you can just peel it off. Another little trick I, I found is sometimes a sticky strip doesn't want to come off your fingers. If that's the case, just take a little bit of adhesive. Put it on a piece of scrap paper off on the side of your workspace. And then when you just put it down on that adhesive, it sticks right to it instead of to your fingers. A little tip to pass along. And finally, okay. All right, then we're going to get our box back. I'm going to slide this up here for the moment. We're going to get our box back, and you're going to actually take this piece of sticky strip off. do is we're actually going to have this like this and oh something I forgot to tell you to do was to crease these with your bone folder actually you should have done that before we took the tape off but we can still do it now okay and the object what we're getting ready to do here is we're going to wrap this around the bottom piece here to make a pocket and the way I found easiest for me anyway is that I take this lay it down flat like that and fit this piece right up to that score line okay then turn this over and you want these little pieces on the edge to be facing up you're going to bring those in and you're going to make sure that they line up 
on this edge right here. Okay, so when it goes down, you don't want it sticking out at all. Let's see, how can I show you that? You don't want it sticking out at all. You need it to be right flush with the side there. Say that, and then didn't do it. Okay, and then the other side. Make sure that this edge right here, that you're getting ready to. There we go. That you're getting ready to put together is flush with that edge. Okay, and then last but not least, you're going to bring this piece up right up to the edges here and the score mark here. And again, you want to make sure that those line up, especially the piece to your um, right. You don't want that sticking out at all. Okay, and then the piece on the fold line. Okay. Then you're going to take your bone folder and just press on those tabs on the inside there. And there you have your box. Okay, now the last thing that you're going to want to do on your box is um, in your kit you will find a little teacup. Yours will already be punched out. I'm going to punch this out here. Okay. And that is actually going to go here on the side to hold your ribbon in place. Okay. So you're going to take your ribbon. You may want a friend to actually give you a hand with this so that your ribbon is nice and tight. But I don't have anybody here at the moment, so I'm going to try to do this as good as I can without a friend. And you want to pull that tight. It might help even to put a punch or a stamp set or something down inside there that you can press on. And tie that in a bow. Okay, once you've played with it and have it looking like you want it, you can use some sharp scissors. I highly recommend our craft and paper scissors. They're great. Actually, I'm going to go this way. They're very, very sharp. And I just can, even though you can cut paper with them, I tend to only cut ribbon or fabric with them because I'd like to keep them nice and sharp. Okay, then you're going to take your little uh, scallop circle that's cut out, um, or I should say punched out, with the one and a quarter inch scallop circle punch. You're just going to put some adhesive on the back of that. And you're just going to excuse me, lay that in place right over your ribbon to keep it where it belongs because when you um, your recipient of this gift unties the bow, um, then the ribbon is actually loose. Okay. Let's get this down a little bit so you can see better. Sorry. All right, and that's your box. So you're just going to put this aside for now. Okay. A little bit of camera positioning difficulty, but okay. Now the cards are very, very simple. Um, as I said, I designed the card fronts, the actual design, on my digital studio. And so you have several different ones you can choose. Um, we're actually going to make five cards. There's enough in your kit to make five cards. Um, and each card is assembled exactly the same. So we're just going to put some adhesive on the back of your design. And you're going to mount it towards the top. Then you're going to find a small piece of designer paper, again pre-cut. And you're going to put that down in this space here. So, adhesive, 
and just place that right in that area. Now it should be cut exactly. If you have any like little teeny bit that's hanging off the edge there, you might have to trim it, but hopefully I've cut it well for you. Then you're going to take this piece, the Lucky Limeade, with your design already attached to it. And you're going to actually center that on your white card front. Okay. And you're just going to repeat this for all five cards. So you will end up with five different cards. And there's also envelopes in your kit. And just gather those all up. If you want a little extra uh, a little pizzazz, you can always tie an extra ribbon around your cards and envelopes before placing them in your box. And then there you are. You have a lovely gift to give to somebody, a little presentation, maybe a get well gift or just a birthday present, um, whatever you see fit or whatever occasion might be around the corner. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Again, my name is Carolyn Service with www.odobstampin.com. 